Crews will work through the night to clean up businesses and apartments swamped with mud after a major water main break in Wilmington. The hardest hit area was around the 400 block of Avalon Boulevard near East D Street. KKL 9's Candace Crone is live in Wilmington with the latest as crews clean up a wet, muddy mess. Candace. That's right. You can hear the work behind me. DWP crews right now are working to replace a portion of the pipe that burst. I just checked and they do expect to have it fixed and the water back on in the next hour or so. Now, we spoke to several business owners who got some flooding. They're hoping to dry out by the morning. Avalon Boulevard looked more like a river after a water main break sent water gushing into several businesses. Neighbors say water shot into the air, knocking over a power pole and causing a large sinkhole in the middle of the street. I was trying to block the door just so that the, the, the water wouldn't come in, but it was no use. Like it would just kept like pushing. It was really, really strong. Carla Diaz was painting inside her art studio when she heard the main break and scrambled to get her artwork off the ground. I had to put the, I had to stack up all my paint buckets, see, like two or three double paint buckets. LADWP says the 20 inch pipe was installed back in 1912 and likely ruptured due to age. Some 77 customers, including residents of a nearby apartment building, temporarily lost water service. A fire engine splashed down the road. Crews were called in to make sure no one was hurt or needed help. Business owners grabbed their brooms, desperately trying to sweep the muddy mess into the street. Four inches of water inside on both sides, so we were. What can we do? Stand out here and uh, try to keep the most water out, but there's nothing we could do. Carlos Diaz said he used old sandbags from a previous storm to try and prevent more water damage. Neighbors say, although a major inconvenience, they're thankful it wasn't much worse. We can't cry about this, you know? Just make the best of it. Back out here live, I'm told the break in the water main was two feet long. Of course, the crews will have to fill the sinkhole and repave the road, but they do hope to have the water back on by 10 p.m. We're live in Wilmington, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. All right, Thank keep you. us posted. Thanks so much.